this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create very simple and basic game boards for your students to use to work on different skills in math class. I have three examples here that I'm going to show you how to make. So we're going to get started by creating a new blank slide. And I'm not going to show you how to switch it over to 8.5 by 11 or to do our basic setup. If you want to see that, check out any of the first 15 videos in our 30 day back to school math resource challenge. So what we're going to do is go to insert table and you can choose the size that you want. I'm going to do a table that's about five across and six down. If it's not enough later on, you can always add in an extra row or column. So with this table, I'm going to go up here to our table design options, click the drop down menu, and then choose this no style table grid. Then I'm going to go up to layout and adjust the settings of the cell size. So I want my cells to be larger. I'm going to bring that up. And then I want them to be a little bit wider. Let's try one five for both the length and the width. So there is the basic table. Now what I'm going to do is go to table design and I'm going to select shading because I want to shade in the path that I want for the game board. And you can be really creative here for how you want your students to go through the game board. If you want it to be easier, do a more straight path. If you want it to take a little bit longer, do a more intricate detailed path. So I'm just going to pick a color to shade in. I don't want the whole thing shaded, so I'm not going to shade that yet. So I'm going to select, let's say we're going to start going this way. And then I'm going to shade that in and then come down this way, shade that in, maybe make like an S. can always shade that bottom section in as well or let's go backwards for that one and let's create a next another row so we're going to pull this up so that it all fits and then I'm just going to come down this way shade it in and then go all the way across to stop all right so there is the basic game board that we're going to have students play on. So I'm going to get rid of these grid lines here in the middle and on the end so that we just see the game board on the page. So what we're going to do is select the table again, go up to your table design and then select the pen color white. And then we're going to highlight, you can click on each line to shade them white or select these cells, if I go to border and go down to inside vertical border, it will shade them the color of the pen and right now it's white. So I'm going to do the same thing here, inside vertical border, shade those in and then now I just need to shade the edges or the end or the side cells. So I'm going to select this cell and then click on right border to make that white and then the same thing down here white border and then the one over here in the middle is on the left so I need to change it to left border and there is our game board with just the cells that the students are going to go on the path selected now you can leave this gray or you can change it back to transparent or black line if you want so we can change the shading back to white like that. Now, if we want to put in different um, actions that students have to do or take while they're going through the game board, we can do that. So I'm going to go up to insert and go over to text box and I'm going to create a text box and I'm going to write the word start here. 
and then just change the font and the size and the color to how I want it. So you can leave it black and white or you can add some color there. I'm going to change the font to Cooper and increase the font size. Let's bring this in. Make it centered and then I'm going to actually change it to a purple color. It all depends on when you're printing it out, if you have color ink or if you just want to leave everything black and white. So I'm going to have a start here and then I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Command D on my computer or my keyboard. If you have a PC, hit Control D. And then I'm going to change this to finish. Or you can put you win, you can put stop here, however you want your game board to look. So that's the basics of the game board. Now I'm going to add in some other actions that students might do. Like pull. So because I want it to go along with some of their math classwork and to give them an opportunity to have fun while doing their work, I want them to have to pull cards that have math problems on there. So I'm going to write pull a card. And then I want my font to be different here. I'm going to go to this copper gothic, copper plate gothic, let's do light, and then stretch it out just a little. I want to pull a part. Okay, so I want them to have to do this frequently because I want them to be working on math problems throughout the game. So pull a card there, and then I'm going to duplicate that again, control D or command D, and might have it every three or four spots. All right, so we have our pool of cards, so that's where they're going to be pulling a card that has a math problem on it and you can create that and make that whatever you want it to be. Write it on index cards or make little task cards or flash cards on PowerPoint to print out for the students to pull. Um, this is just, this tutorial is mainly just to create the game board for whatever game you have your students play. Alright, so there's our basic game board that you can use with your students. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make one that's a little bit more detailed. Same information that goes on there, but we're just gonna add in smaller cells and do more of those cells. And again, we're gonna go to insert table, eight going across and nine going down. So now again, we're going to select the table to shade in the path that I want students to follow when they're playing the game. So you can you can choose gray or you can choose any other color. So I'm going to select the path. So let's start here and shade it in and then come up here, shade that in, go a little bit here, make it whatever path you want it to be. So there is my game board and I'm going to get rid of the lines on the outside so again selecting the table design and I already have the left border selected for white so I'm going to select those all right that looks good so I'm going to put our start here again I'm going to go back to insert a text box probably needs to be a little bit smaller this time so again start here select that I'm just gonna leave it black this time change it to Cooper and let's bring it in and make it centered 
I'm going to click there and then duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Then I'm duplicating that text box. And instead of finish, I'm going to type in you win. Okay. And this time I want to add in an arrow because some of the cells are touching but I want students to go in a specific direction so I'm gonna go up to insert go to shapes and then select one of these arrows it doesn't matter with which arrow you select because you can always turn the direction so we're gonna make those small I'm going to go to shape format and then change the color to black and no outline and I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to change this direction and make sure after this cell, students know to go up. And we're going to duplicate that arrow. And then when they get here, I want them to know to make sure to keep going straight. Duplicate it again, and here they're going to continue to go straight. Duplicate it again. This one I want them to go up, and this is only because some of the cells are touching. So if you don't have, if you don't design your game board where they're touching, you don't really need the arrows. It's up to you. This is just something extra. I want to make sure my students understand or whoever's playing understands which direction to go that looks good we're gonna add in a few of the extra actions students can select or can work on I'm going to duplicate some of our text boxes to create the actions we want students to do So there's another example of how you can create a basic game card game board and this one has more um, spaces for students to have to cover and get through in order to finish and complete the game and then the last one we're gonna do is one that kind of goes around in like a circle so I'm going to insert a new slide one more time All right this time we're going to highlight the path that we want students to take and we're going to kind of go like in a circle in a pattern so I'm going to choose like a light yellow. So there's the basic game board. So again, we're going to change the line color to white. So again, we're going to add in all of our actions for start, finish, pull a card, and so forth. And there's our game board with even more spaces and a different design. We even added in the action extra turn along with the other ones that we've done so far be creative make it your own pair it with different math problems and concepts that students are working on in class and just have fun with it i hope this tutorial was helpful to you in creating a very basic or simple game board to go along with your math tasks that you have students completing